Hey everyone, welcome to Our Small Footprint. Uh, again, I forgot to do my intro to this video, so I'm doing it in the morning, uh, and that's always not great. But you know, <laughs> if you've been here a while, you see that I do that. So, welcome to Our Small Footprint. My name is Nissa. We are a family of eight who live off grid in Australia, and I bring you different videos about different things to do with homesteading, living off grid, kitchen, uh, all that kind of prepping, all that sort of stuff. So uh, today's video is uh, to use a zucchini glut that I got from our community hamper. So I got a big box of zucchini from the community hamper and have to get through that. So today I made a huge batch of zucchini butter and zucchini fritters and I thought I'd bring you along to see because people had asked me about the zucchini butter when I mentioned it. So uh, come along and see how I made that and I will see you again probably tomorrow. Thanks guys for watching and see you later. This morning I really had to get started on the zucchini. So we've got big box of zucchini to get through. So I decided to make first up some zucchini butter because everyone had asked about that when I mentioned it and we really enjoy it. So the first thing I did was just pulled all the zucchini out, grabbed any that had some bad bits and cut away the bad bits and chunked it all up into just cubed pieces. The smaller you cut it, the quicker it's going to cook down, but um, I wasn't in any real hurry. So I just did what I did and cut it up however it worked. You want to melt some butter or ghee and oil sort of 50 50 mix into your pan uh, and get it melted then you need to add the zucchini mix i did add some garlic first you need to make sure that you don't burn the garlic though because it's going to sit in there a while so you need plenty of fat in there that it's just going to saute a little bit and then quickly add your zucchini so that you're almost immediately releasing some liquid so that the garlic doesn't brown up or, or um, burn at all so you start adding your zucchini. You're going to cook it down. Uh, it's going to take quite a while. Um, so you just stick it all in and keep it keep it moving so that it's sweating in there and it's breaking down, but there's no browning of the zucchini. I put the lid on on low because it helps keep the heat in there and it sweats it a little bit better. So I tend to put the lid on and then all the time I will take the lid off and stir it around make sure that nothing's sticking keep the temperature low and just keep it moving in that pot when it's reducing uh, it's reducing in quantity obviously so what I do is I keep cutting zucchini and as the pot reduces I keep on adding more uh, it's going to prolong the amount of time that it takes for it to cook down all the way uh, but I'm doing other things in the kitchen anyway so I don't find it that much of an issue I just keep on adding more and more to the pot until I get sick of adding it basically uh, the pot ends up about two-thirds full I suppose and I just keep on adding and stirring it through and making sure that that new zucchini is mixed through through the old stuff so that nothing's burning to the bottom uh, keep on adding stir lid on and off depending on how it's going and make the most of making a batch rather than just cooking down that first lot and calling it done so i do that if you've got time i highly suggest it once um i've gotten it to a point of where i've either run out of zucchini i've had enough of adding it or i've run out of time then i add some herbs now when I make this normally I make it in summer because I have a surplus of zucchini coming out of the garden and because it's in summer I would have fresh herbs so I would normally go and pick some rosemary some thyme sage any sort of green herb that I've got out in the garden that's ready not basil uh, probably oregano though maybe marjoram maybe whatever that sort of savory green herb out there and I would pick a whole bunch of them and throw it into the pot. It wasn't, it's obviously not summer at the moment here. So I just added some thyme and rosemary that I had dried from summer in there. Uh, I think I added a bit of salt and pepper maybe. 
and sort of just to taste uh, normally the really fresh greens are really nice fresh green herbs are in it are nice because I'm doing it in winter I also added some of that smoked garlic paste that I had made and frozen into uh, cubes so I added a handful of the smoked garlic paste so there's a video about that but I smoked whole heads of garlic in the smoker and then I squeezed it all out mixed it with a bit of ghee and pureed it up and then froze it into little cubes so I added a handful of that to this as well once I had all the herbs in there and it looked a good consistency it was all nice and soft and cooked down the smoked garlic paste had melted and everything else I used the immersion blender so you can do this to whatever texture you want uh, I like it fairly smooth so I use the immersion blender till it's all fairly broken up and smooth uh, you get those lovely flecks of dark green from the skin throughout the bright green of the zucchini and it really holds its color very well when doing it like this so it's this, it's a lovely sort of a vivid green even when it's done uh, so you just want to blend it or not blend it however you want to do it to whatever text you want I like it fairly smooth and I find that the kids will take it better if it's fairly smooth so I did that I you have to remember that you can't can zucchini butter it's not cannable at all uh, even if we didn't add some of the extras that we add you couldn't do it um, you don't can pureed vegetables for a start but it's just you can can zucchini <laughs> Uh, you have to pressure can it so it basically just ends up mush um, you have to add liquid to it to can it I don't know I don't think you can dry can it I've never looked at it but it's really not that nice to can and you can't water bath can it unless you pickle it so this is going into the freezer uh, if you want to can it in if you want to freeze it in jars you need to leave a significant headspace uh, when you're freezing it so that when the product expands the jars don't explode but I went hunting through our old Tupperware cupboards, which don't get used very often anymore, and found some old Tupperware containers, some freezer Tupperware containers, and used those. So I kept a small container and a jar in the fridge because we will use that straight up and then put the rest in the freezer. We use this for a lot of things. Uh, it's really nice on the base of a pizza, so used with a little bit of... Um, pizza sauce a scoop of the zucchini butter and a bit of pizza sauce spread out on the bottom of a pizza really nice flavor with that uh, the that lemon um, egg yolk pasta that I make with the basil instead of using basil using the zucchini butter is really nice um, and probably a whole lot better for us the so it's really nice put through fresh pasta uh, you can use it when if you do uh, like home fried potatoes like you know cubed potatoes in the cast iron and you use it as a bit of a drizzle over the top you can mix it through with mayo and use it as a dipping sauce it's a bit like a like a I don't know what to describe it as but it ends up like a green you could probably mix it through sour cream too if you were a dairy fan uh, we obviously don't eat a great deal of dairy but uh, you can mix it through as a dip it has a lot of really fresh flavor I like zucchini though so I suppose you have to like it to to enjoy it this way but uh, we find a lot of ways to use it it's it's a pity that it has to go in the freezer though because I don't always have a great deal of freezer space and you have to remember to pull it out to defrost it so uh, but it's well worth making it uses up a lot of zucchini in a in one dish and that's always handy in summer because I grow a lot of zucchini so lots of different ways for using it well worth making uh, especially because gluts of zucchini are regular so after that I still had plenty of zucchinis left so I decided to make zucchini fritters now my fritters are a little bit slapdash it's like a lot of my cooking so I don't have some great measurements for you but I'll share as I go but first I had to grate the zucchini up so I used my drum gator, grater on my KitchenAid I'm having a lot of problems with my hands and my wrists at the moment uh, and so you can use a box grater if you want you can use the Thermomix or a food processor if you want but I personally like the shape of shreds of zucchini that are done on a box grater style grating the drum grater box the drum grater and the box grater both give the same sort of long shreds and I really like that texture especially for fritters and things like that so it's personal preference how you do it uh, the drum grater on the KitchenAid is very handy for me um, especially for large 
quantities uh, but you can use a box grater you could use a thermomix you could use a food processor however you prefer your um, grates of zucchini uh, so I grated it all into a colander and lightly salted it and put aside so by salting it what you're doing is you're drawing some of the moisture out for fritters you want as much moisture as possible out so we're also going to squeeze it but we're going to let it sit with the salt for a little while first while it was doing that I whisked up some eggs so I tend to start my fritter recipe by starting with the amount of eggs that I want to use and working from that point forward so I did 12 eggs and whisked them all up uh, and then I will work from that point forward to see how much of everything else that I'm going to use uh, I went looking for one of my large tea towels to um, squeeze the zucchini and couldn't find it I do have a couple of nut milk bags on order which I think would probably work quite well and I just that afternoon after I had already done this Daryl came home, went to town and came back from the post office because I had ordered a pack of flour sack tea towels from Amazon I'll put a link to them below because they're fantastic uh, which would have worked perfectly <laughs> which I grabbed them for doing things like this straining and, and squeezing and stuff but because I couldn't find anything I went for a clean pillowcase instead uh, I it was clean I rinsed it in vinegar and I'm okay with that if you don't if that's not something you would use then that is you know your preference but it worked well for me so I transferred it all into the pillowcase and squeezed it out it worked quite well the pillowcase is very sturdy which means that it wasn't stretching as I was doing it so that's uh, a win uh, so I you just want to twist the top of whatever you're using to strain it if you twist the bottom and the top separate ways it's going to squeeze the zucchini for you so we squeezed a lot of liquid out of that I want to say a couple of liters probably out of all that zucchini that I had done and I ended up with around about 12 cups of zucchini after that point so it would have been a lot more prior to squeezing it's less once it is and I didn't measure it beforehand or weigh it or anything um, but I ended up with about 12 cups of that squeezed zucchini that I added to the eggs and after I added that to the eggs I added two tins of corn so I strained the corn as well to get as much liquid as possible out and added two tins of corn that's personal preference we really like corn in just about anything uh, I like the sweet bursts of flavor that things that corn that corn gives to things so I use it a fair bit so we used two tins of strained corn in there as well after that I need to just add some flour and spices basically so the zucchini and the eggs are what carry my fritters I don't put a whole lot else in there I just use plain flour I started with two cups of plain flour to start with and folded it through and then assessed the texture uh, I decided that it needed another cup folded through of the flour and then it looked right for me everyone's zucchini fritter uh, texture is going to be a little bit different some people add some baking powder and bicarb so that you've got a sort of a pancake lift to your fritters we like them sort of flat the the the, the flour is just a binder it's not really a pancake it's a zucchini fritter that's held together by the eggs and, and flour which is why there's an excess of eggs and zucchini and not too much flour in it but everyone has a preference on how they like their fritter batter texture thinner with less zucchini and more like a pancake or more zucchini less batter you know it, it it is personal preference this is the way we like them so once I added that extra cup of flour I thought it looked pretty good now you need to well you don't need to season it we choose to season it you need to remember not to add more salt though because you've already added salt to the zucchini when you were sweating it the water off so I added our standard a bit of cracked pepper some onion powder some garlic powder I may have added some thyme or something as well but just our standard sort of spices that I use I don't really measure any of it I just give it a sprinkle through and do it by eye uh, use whatever flavors you want in that you like with zucchini and corn basically uh, but yes no added no extra salt don't put any extra salt uh, and then you cook them off so I thought I'd quickly show you this uh, arc lighter that we get that we've got uh, it's a USB chargeable arc lighter that we use to light most things these are very cool I highly recommend these I'll put a link in the bottom to show these because they're much better than the gas ones that run out of gas all the time on us uh, so I put I cooked them in my cast iron pan and all I did was I put a little bit of lard and in the bottom of the pans and then we cook them off I use a quarter cup 
measures so I just use a quarter cup and fill that to pour that into the pan I find that's a good amount and I like to spread them out because we don't have any rising raising agent in the flour they're going to stay flat so I like to spread them out so they cook evenly and we get you know zucchini through every bite and that sort of thing so I use a quarter cup measure to put them all in the pans and cook both sides and I basically just cook them till they set so they a bit like a pancake they're sort of less wobbly on the top no bubbles though because I didn't use any raising agents uh, but they're a little bit set on the top and they've got a crust on the bottom and then I flip them and I will keep on flipping them if I feel the need to because you want you don't want to have any sort of gluggy liquid in the middle so you want to keep on flipping them till they're brown on both sides and cooked all the way through uh, we had these because I made so many we had these for dinner just as is and then they had fruit for dessert um, this one here is mine and it's got some sour cream with it as well and we had some salsa served uh, some apple butter barbecue was on offer as well uh, could, I suppose we could have had eggs or something over it but there's already 12 eggs in the fritters so it didn't seem necessary but you can serve it as a side as a main as a lunch as a breakfast however you want but we had it just like this for dinner uh, and everyone really enjoyed it so hope that gave you some other things to make with your zucchini glut if you're in america you probably got a bit of a zucchini glut at the moment but in australia it's still to come which is sort of exciting so uh hope that helped a little bit there and i will be back to see you again tomorrow probably with a chat video tomorrow because it's the weekend uh, and we will have to start planning for the next grocery trip which is coming up this week uh, thanks for watching guys and i will see you again next time